Good evening everyone, it's just 1 a.m. on July 10th and we have FSD Beta version 9 installed on our 2018 Tesla Model 3. We're just doing test loop 1 to see how things are going. As you can already see, they've improved the visualization. In 500 feet, turn right onto Plum Canyon Road. And obviously already seeing some impressive improvements in the, the pure vision uh, FSD beta. Now turn right onto Plum Canyon Road. As a reminder, this is a beta and not a full self full self driving software suite. This is uh, navigating on city streets. So it's one o'clock in the morning, so it's pretty quiet. It's creeping forward. There's obviously no one coming from the left, waiting to see when it makes the decision to go. And it stopped for some reason because there is no traffic. I just gave it a quick tap of the accelerator there to. Uh, let it know it can proceed. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Bouquet Canyon Road. I love how smooth all these lines are, and you can see when it's not as sure as confident, it blurs them out a little bit, or more, depending on. The Turn confidence right level. Onto Bouquet Canyon Road. Okay, let's see how it handles this right turn on red. Oh, it's about to go green. There's the green. There's the decision to go, and we've got a pedestrian. I just intervened because I didn't want to uh, allow any chance of interference with a pedestrian that wasn't paying attention there. Okay, re-enabled. Oh, okay, it still thinks this is an intersection. It's got to stop more, so I just authorized it through. I suspect that's a navigation issue. Confident in its acceleration. calculating probabilities with the the the, the, the road sorry forgive me it's one o'clock in the morning nice smooth transition to the left lane and nice smooth left turn okay now for the speed bumps okay speed bump one it sees and slowing down hitting it a little fast but not at full speed or anything like that For stop sign. Nice gentle approach. California stop. I'll just send that one in. Second stop sign. Nice smooth approach for deceleration to the stop sign. And there we go. They made the decision to proceed. Here comes our second speed bump. In 500 feet, turn left. Yeah, so it looks like it's about 18, 19 miles an hour. It wants to cross the speed bump. I think that's a little fast. I mean, some people might disagree with me. Some people might agree with me. So there we go. Third stop sign. And third speed bump at the crest of this hill. There it is coming up. Now turn and left slowing down for it. Drive. Excellent. Okay, now for the left turn. Kind of creeping up to it which isn't too bad there is no traffic coming and it decided to proceed so i did nothing on that segment that was all the fsd beta on its own there it flicked auto high beams on that cannot be changed now there's oncoming car turn them off that is set by default now with pure vision um, for obvious reasons at night it wants to be able to turn the high beams on to see better there, high beams back on, which is interesting with a well-lit road, but that's okay as long as it doesn't blind any oncoming cars. Okay, now we're passing this intersection. Let's go back to our start point and finish off test loop one. Now turn left onto Haskell Canyon. 
very confident into this left turn lane. Nice deceleration. And we're about to get, oh, we didn't trigger the light soon enough. I'm sure it'll trigger pretty quick here. Okay, there we go. It's deciding to proceed on its own. I'm tugging on the wheel here, but I guess that wasn't enough. Nice left turn. Nice smooth acceleration up to 50. Now for those that have seen me do this drive, sometimes it wants to get into the non-existent right turn lane that is now a bike lane with a buffer. It usually does it further along just before the lights up here. So let's see how it's doing with V9. adjusting the steering wheel but felt very confident in its, in its uh, approach with that uh, island in the center. Let's see when it gets over in the right lane here. It's already moving over. That should turn the high beams off. right turn so it should just do a smooth transition into the oh now we got a yellow so it's going to slow and come to a stop I mean obviously there's no traffic but it's doing the technical approach here there we go right turn not bad it's transition to the left lane it's doing it a little later there we go nothing wrong with that it, it's well it's, in advance of the left turn. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Via Joyce Drive. So let's see how it handles this left turn. Obviously, it's one in the morning. We don't have much oncoming traffic, but I will test this out some more with uh, oncoming traffic and see how it now handles turn this. Turn left onto Via Joyce Drive. Very nice. There we go, test loop one. 